welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie, and today we are going to be talking about when do you know if it's time to leave a relationship and the age-old question of like, is this too hard and too much work or should I stick this out and work through it with this person? I've had friends ask me this. I've had people in this community ask me this. I've asked myself this question before where you get to a point in a relationship where maybe you're fighting a bit more, um, you are having more disagreements, it's taking more effort to show up in the relationship. So it doesn't even have to be a fight, it could just be like, wow, I feel like I'm really working at like spending time with this person, um, you know, maybe living with this person is really challenging. There's so many things that can come up in relationships. We often ask ourselves like, is this what people mean when they say relationships are work and relationships are hard and you do have to like put effort into them? Because of course you have to work on a relationship. Of course you have to put effort into a relationship. Nothing's going to come easy. It's not going to be a breeze 100% of the time. But I think people get really confused with like, okay, where is the balance though? Like when is it almost like tipping too much to this is too much for me or, you know, stick it out and like see how it goes. So that's what this video is about today. I'm going to help you with some tips and tricks that I have learned and used over the years when deciding something is too much work or too hard. Uh, and I'm talking about romantic relationships, but you can also probably apply this to your friendships and to any other like kind of relationship in your life, even with family. So first and foremost, I want to put it out there that one person's hard and one person's amount of work is going to be different from your hard and your amount of work. And that's like the biggest misconception I feel like we as a society or as people believe is that there's only one set standard of work and hard and we all must adhere to this one standard and we should all work this hard in our relationships and if it's any more we leave and if it's any less we must stay until we get to that level um which is just not true <laughs> In all honesty, I believe that everybody is going to have a different amount of hard and a different amount of work. So the analogy that I really like to use is to think about your job, right? There are some people who want to work, you know, 80 plus hour weeks, be in high stressful situations, but they get a lot of reward out of that. And they choose to work in a job that's going to take a lot of time from them, take a lot of energy from them, but they like the rewards that they get out of the job. You know, it brings them a lot of satisfaction. They enjoy what they do. They're willing to work and put that amount of time and effort. And then there are other people who maybe want to work a more standard nine to five job that's simple and not stressful. And obviously they put in some work, right? They have to put in time and effort and they have to put in care to that job uh, in order to keep it. But they're not gonna be spending 80 hours a week trying to make this the best job ever. So how you can apply that concept to your relationship is ask yourself, okay, right now, how much work and energy am I putting into this relationship? Maybe it's, you know, 20 hours a week. Maybe it's 10 hours a week. Maybe it's 50 hours a week. Um, maybe it's every single morning you're having a fight with your partner and that's draining your energy and it's affecting you all day. Um, ask yourself these questions. How much work and energy am I putting into this relationship? And then ask yourself, do you have the space in your life, not in your mom's life, not in your friend's life, not in your you know, co-worker's life, in your life, do you have space for that amount of energy and work to be putting into a relationship? I think that's a really great question to separate yourself from the emotional aspect of it because oftentimes, you know, we can fall in love with someone and we can be in love with someone, but we might not actually be a great life partner fit with them or we might not actually like them. So you can be in love with someone, but do you even like that person? That's the next question you should ask yourself. Like, would I be friends with this person? Would I spend time with this person if we weren't in a relationship and we didn't have this intimate bond? By separating yourself from like, the status quo or the standard and asking yourself these like very simple questions, it can help you understand where you stand. So maybe right now you're like, okay, we're fighting every single morning and like I do not have the energy or space for that in my life. Then we can go over some options. So, you know, have we tried couples counseling? Have we worked on our communication skills? Do we both like each other? Like that's another thing. And you can kind of go through those those talking points in your head and chat about it with your partner and say to yourself like, you know what, this is actually too hard for me. This is too much work. I don't have the energy to take what it's going to take to fix this. And unfortunately, like, I'm going to have to take a step back from this relationship. And understanding that, like, that has nothing to do with the amount of love you have for this person or does it make you a failure or does it mean that you, you know, 
aren't going to find someone as good as them. There are millions and millions of people in the world who you can build connections with and who might work and fit better for you in your life. Sometimes the timing's off. Um, there's just so many things that can affect our relationships. I think we can fall into this scarcity mindset sometimes of like, oh my gosh, if I can't make this work or if I can't make my last three relationships work, I'm running out of options and you know, I'm never gonna find the one and I should just settle for this person because they're good enough. But that's not the case, right? Like, I think relationships are gonna ebb and flow in our lives. Relationships are changing and evolving so much. And like, who's to say that next year or next month or tomorrow, you might meet someone who's a better fit for you. Or if you're like, no, I do have the energy and time to put into this relationship. I care and love about this person. I like this person. I see a future with them. I can see doing the next thing with them. Um, I want to be in this and I'm willing to put the effort and time into making this work. Then that's also great. The decision has to be coming from you and what works for you in your life um, and not comparing yourself to other people or other external factors. So I hope this video helped you. If you think it will help a friend or someone else, please share it with them and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Also, feel free to check out our Instagram page at CBO Wellness. We post a bunch of different relationship and sex and just tons of life advice on there. So uh, if you're interested in checking that out, give us a follow and we will see you for another video shortly.